Oh, broadcast is live. We are live. Hello. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Look Club Live with Kelsey from Fringe Factory. Woo! Yeah. Welcome. He's at the Fringe Factory. Hello. Uh, preparing for Fringe & Co's sale this weekend, and we're all going to get cute together on this Look yes. Club Live. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to go live on Instagram now, so give me one second. Go for it. Um, and while Kelsey does that, we are um, just preparing. We're uh, laying out some power pigments. Um, or I am. I am. Uh, we have a few colors that we have picked that are going to match one of Kelsey's new head wraps. She'll be uh, giving us a sneak peek. And uh, so I'm going ahead and I'm just starting to lay down some power pigments on my little palette here. I wonder if that's going to cause too much feedback. Mm, my dog is barking at the Instagram. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what do y'all think. Oh, if it's doing that, I we probably should give up on that. <laughs> <laughs> I think it it does sound like a dog whistle. It sounds like a robot getting murdered. <laughs> I know. What is that? Um. All right. Let me see. It's feedback I can like go live on mine, and then yeah. Let me see if I unjoin. How do I unjoin? <laughs> yeah. Can you act out? I'm leaving. <laughs> I know. Can there we go? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so those of you on Instagram, you're only going to see me. You're not going to see um, the electrolytes because it caused way too much feedback with we're trying to stream on Facebook too. So if you want to see all of them, go to Electro Cosmetics Facebook and join in that. Otherwise, you can, you know, watch me try to do my makeup. Shall be interesting. <laughs> and hopefully hear us maybe. And the crazier, the better. Like bonus points I know, for creativity. I know. So do not be afraid. This is not about, Yikes. it's not about being safe. This is all about experimenting and having fun. So just like, Go for it. It. <laughs> well, I'm a very, um, I'm a very low maintenance makeup person. So this is probably going to be the most amount of makeup since I've done like Mardi Gras day two years ago. <laughs> wow. So this is a big, this is a big day. Thank you for. Thank you for doing it on Look Hub. We appreciate it. So what happened? You had- um, Thank you. you. Had Thank you. Stories today. You had people go on a look for you. Um, did they tell you, did you get some feedback on what you felt like you're going to use? Kelsey, I don't know if she was able to hear me. Not sure. Uh-oh. We're on, look, we're trying to get, oh, she says I look like I'm glowing anyway. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Are we okay. I can't hear you again. Let me, I'm going to uh -huh. disconnect these with the people on Instagram can hear. Give me one second. I think it's screwing up. I'm going to rejoin. Give me one second. Sorry, y'all. No Technical worries. Error. No problem. This is our first time. We're trying to go live on we're three people. Yeah. We're, we're doing an old school three way. And I realized how that sounded. I meant uh, like on the phone in eighth grade. Okay. Um, so they society like said, a party line. It's like a party line. Yeah, we're like a little team line. Um, Sylvain Society says we love Electro Cosmetics and we love Sylvain Society. Yay. Good to see y'all. Thanks for joining us. It's been a while. It's been too long. Yeah, it has been a while since we've done a look club. Ooh, so I'm look just how adding a little gel transformer to each of my little pigments because I'm gonna go wild and crazy tonight. Something really fun is going to happen. And I haven't now quite decided what that fun is yet but you know we're gonna make it work that's what i was wondering daniel if you had an inspo picture oh here's kelsey she's here we go hi kelsey welcome back hello. hello hi can you hear us very low but yes i can okay i can hear you too so it's i'm wondering i'm turning up my volume yeah, I'm turning up my volume too. Oh yeah, I am up all the way too. So I guess we are kind of quiet. Well, and it's like pouring rain here. So it's like in, very loud in here. Oh yeah, cause y'all have, is it a metal roof? 
at the fringe I factory. I think it's a metal roof. It's in, it is insulated, luckily, but um, but it's still you can still hear it like crazy, and it's like raining like a lot. Yeah, just started coming down. I'm not too far away from where Kelsey is, but do not have a metal roof or <laughs> yeah. So. So for those of you two on Instagram just joining us, we're doing, um, we're going to make a fun makeup look <laughs> with Electra Cosmetics. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's literally like, it's supposed to be fun. I mean, I'm putting on a little primer on my eyes to prep them for the pigments. I was told to come already prepped with my eyes <laughs> prepped. So I, I follow directions. You were so proud of you. Thank you. See, yes. we're, we're, we're rule breakers here at Electra Cosmetics. We break our own rules. <laughs> yeah, y'all are kind of. Okay, so like I just start then. Exactly. I feel like I want to give everyone, I do have an inspo pick. Ooh, um, let's see. Y'all want to see the inspo pick of what I'm hoping that this will somewhat look like. Let's see. This is my yes. computer. Wait, Ooh, I, I like it. Where the camera is. No, it's it hard. Is, it's hard to see. It's a, she's a little blown out. She's a little because. blown out. All right, Instagram can see. This is what we're gonna try to make today, or something like it. It's, it's Wait, I'll, I'll oh, wait, show you my inspo look, which is gonna now probably turn out totally different as well. Oh, now I can see her. Oh, now I can see it. I can see her. Kind of like this. Oh, this ooh, the lines. Or well, this? the lines are kind of cool, but I don't have tape with me at the hotel. So I had um. I had a poll today on my Instagram. I had people decide which look I should try to recreate and they chose this one for me. So the other one was just like polka dots all over your face, which is very fun, but I feel like I haven't done like proper makeup or eyeliner in a while. So maybe I should challenge myself and do that. Um, well, I'm excited with what they chose. We Danielle gets really dotty. She does, she's really good at the dots. Yeah. She's done a couple I'm, of looks. Luckily, I uh, I'm I can do that. I can do that. We'll see about the blending piece. So the cool thing about the pigments um, is you can use them um, as a liquid, mixing them with the gel transformer or the liquid transformer, and you can kind of paint them on, or you can use them dry over a primer. You're going to get a more, I would say, bold look when you combine them with the transformer okay. and make a paint basically. Yeah. I think I'm going to do the transformer just because I feel like I start getting, um, a little, um, what's the word that I'm looking for? I start just like losing a lot more if I don't use a transformer, it's easier for me to like yeah. paint it and pack it on that way. So, right. Yeah, it's definitely, so I'm going in dry with the yellow um, just because I don't want it to be, I'm using it kind of as my like highlight color on my brow bone and in the um, corner, uh, whatever this is. I, there's so many words for the different parts of the eye and I'm like that part, you know, the inner corner. There the we go. Corner. <laughs> that right, part. This is my first time using the gel transformer too. I don't know if y'all have uh, used a gel transformer, but I usually use the liquid one. So I'm going to try it. Oh, we didn't say our also, besides our inspo photos, that our inspiration for our color palette today is oh, from yeah. amazing new head wrap. Kelsey, can you tell us this is from your summer line? Yeah, this is brand new, not even available um, online yet. So I found this fabric when I was up north in Minnesota. Um, there's a fabric store that I love going to. And I initially was like, give me like four yards, blah, blah, blah. Cause I try not to be too aggressive when I go there. Cause then I have to carry it all back. But, um, I was staring at it and I was like, listen, just give me the whole bowl. Like this fabric is too fun, too beautiful, too perfect for summer. So yep. this is what we are kind of inspiring our, um, um, this is what we are inspiring our makeup look after. So I'm going to just kind of go bright, bold summary. And I love it so much because I feel like no matter what color outfit I'm wearing, like I can wear this party wrap and it will coordinate. So I'm totally into party wraps that are just, you know, work with anything. I think I have yeah. a black one and I wear that like a lot, but I mean, this is another, this is going to be a go-to party wrap for sure. Yeah. 
Well, yeah, it's perfect for summer. I've already worn mine at the pool, honestly. We've broken in the pool, so. Um, yes, it's I like also, a really nice fat, like weight too, in terms of fabric. It's super light. Um, and it's, it's very, yeah, it's, I love it. And like you were saying, Danielle, at any color, but like I even, I'm wearing like a teal shirt right now, a blue necklace. Like, I feel like you could also wear, there's so many great colors in here, but anything in between you can also wear. Yeah. I mean, I feel like even with like an all white dress, it would be really pretty too Ooh. for summer. Yeah. Ooh, imagine like jeans and a tank top. I mean, there's so many possibilities. I know. All right. I, I'm, gonna, I'm starting with the pink on my lid. I don't really know where I'm supposed <laughs> to start with this, but I'm starting with the pink on the lid. Good I mean, the look club is all about experimentation. So there is no wrong, um, wrong way to do look, look club. Uh, I was really tired one night and I made myself into the heat miser. <laughs> and it was really scary. It, it was, was a holiday look, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, um, I mean, I feel like you just got to go for it at some point, right? Exactly. And that's what happened that night. And boy, I will never forget how scary I looked. <laughs> I know. I just, I used to like wear a lot more makeup and do all the blending. And now I just consider myself incredible. Like I basically apply most of my makeup with my face or with my hands. So Feel free I need to, to just like blenders. brush up on my techniques of blending and you know all of that stuff. So it's funny I because I... I don't wear makeup day to day, um, even like pre going back to my healthcare position. Um, I'm just not a daily makeup user. I like doing makeup for special occasions. Yeah. So for me. That's that's the way I prefer to wear makeup. I don't really wear makeup during the week. I it's more like weekend fun time. Yeah, and I not every that. weekend because some some weekends are just you know getting stuff done around the house or working yeah. at the HQ. I mean, I have been wearing a little bit more just like simple daily makeup just because I've been doing a ton of content stuff that I. Fortunately, unfortunately, I'm in. Um, I mean, it's good. It's been a lot of fun, but I've at least kind of, you know, thrown on some mascara or something for that. But um, and if anyone's tuning in um, and on the Facebook on Electra page, say hi. Um, so we know you're here, and we know who you are, and um, we are just starting our fun kind of. Um, almost rainbow summer inspired colors uh, looks um i'm starting dry i actually i, I think y'all both started with the lip uh, the gel transformer and i'm going to start dry and then see where i go from there and then maybe add some gel transformer to my power pigments to the to it yeah i like this gel a lot and i'm a big proponent of makeup wipes when i'm putting makeup on so like you know I'm, I experiment and I don't, is that, is my air conditioner really loud? Oh yeah, I can hear. I didn't know what it was. I'm gonna, I'm I can't gonna. hear it, but all I can hear is like things on the, on the roof here. <laughs> yeah. I have makeup wipes and makeup remover pads. Uh, yeah. I, that's what I forgot. I knew I was, I had forgotten something. I forgot my old makeup wipe. Thank you, Daniel. Yeah, I was like, "Oh, that is loud," and it and it. I'm right next to it, and I'm freezing. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, good reason to turn it down. So I'm going. I have my. Um, I'm wearing my pop and bottles necklace and my champagne earrings. So and then I realized I'm accidentally like just wearing so far the exact two colors I'm wearing, which is just like gold <laughs> and mint blue. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna bring gel. Yeah, um, one thing about the pigments, Kelsey, is that we're saying kind of when uh, y'all are both doing a gel transformer, I'm doing dry, but with the liquid transformer, you can kind of just paint it. It doesn't really blend as much. It's really, they're great to blend them kind of before, kind of dry, or I don't know how y'all are, are, 
Are you able to blend well, Danielle, once you've already mixed it with gel transformer? I feel like, because I feel like it dries pretty quickly. So you can kind of, yeah, you can like ombre and add different color to it and kind of do that little pop, if you will. What do you call it when you do the, you cut the, is it cut? What do you do here? Cut, cut the, crease. Oh, like a cut crease? Cut the crease. There we go. That is something that I don't think that I'm, I'm, I'm ready for yet. I've done it it's before. So I want it's hard. I think the way where it looks really good is when they do it with concealer after they're done with their full eye. That's when they get it to where, it, but even still, I mean, you could give me tape and a stencil and I wouldn't be able to get it the way that this. No, they no, I it. saw a TikTok video on it and was like, holy crap. Yeah, I feel like I'm all, always like, okay, let's try to get these two eyes to match. And I'm like painting and trying to figure it out. And same definitely needs right. need a little practice yes yeah. see i'm all right always like half of my face is that city park danielle that you're using i'm actually using blue bayou first okay. i know it looks green but i think it's my lighting yeah i just um, but, but blue bayou is oh i'm about to start green. using the, the bayou I, that's one of my favorite colors. I'm using I, this one next. How about, what would you suggest for doing it as a eyeliner? Eyeliner, I would probably use City Park only because it's, I think, the darkest color. And, you know, liner is kind of cool because there's different things that you can do with it. Like, yeah. you can take an existing, like, um gel liner and you can kind of tint it the color so let's say you don't want it to be like completely black you want it to be like a black green you can kind of mix the pigment mix in. it yeah uh -huh. well with i did it. bring let's see here oh that's not it um but what would you suggest in terms of using the pigment as a liner should i use the liquid or the gel yeah i would use the gel gel okay yeah, it's yeah, really nice and thick and it's, yeah, it's perfect. It makes a perfect liner. But yeah, a darker color too is best. So the other thing too is sometimes the city park's definitely dark enough, but let's say you're like, oh, I really wanted to use that Satsuma, that orange as a liner. Yeah. If you, you could kind of lay down a black liner on your eye regularly and then just kind of put, um, mix whatever kind of lighter liner you want with gel okay. transformer. Oh. Yeah, put it over and it'll just kind of, you'll it'll read orange to, to, um, to everyone, but it won't show your skin underneath, you know, and it'll, okay. yeah. yeah, I see. I see. I was just going to put it on, but now you're right. I tested it on my hand and I think I need to do, the only thing is, is I don't really have, well, I guess I can use this as a, I only brought like bright colored stuff knowing that we were going <laughs> to be playing with bright colors. Yeah. I'm not, I'm going to, I'm going to do city. I think, I might do flirty as my liner. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I haven't gotten there. I haven't gotten there. I'm kind of liking this yellow. I kind of went, instead of using a regular kind of color as my, like a white or a nude or whatever, I kind of went yellow because yellow doesn't, the banana sponsor to me, it doesn't love my skin tone that much, but I like, I like it mixed with these blue and green. I like it. And if y'all are here, say hi. Um, say hello so we we knows you're here and and we hope you're having a good Wednesday. Yeah, we've got some people on Instagram too. I'm sorry y'all can't hear. We tried to call in, but there was way too much noise in the backdrop. Whoever comes up with the app that can stream both Instagram and Facebook live at the same time is going to make a lot of money. Oh yeah, yeah definitely. Well, I'm sure people are uh, working on it. Yeah. Wait, no, no, no. Instagram owns Facebook. So I don't know. That's why. the thing I was going to say, unless it's like they want them to be on both platforms, but it's just like, it would be really nice if you could go live on both channels. Yes. Ooh, I'm doing a different eye shape than I'm used to. I'm feeling a little Egyptian over here. Like, 
like it, it, like Egyptian in a nineteen fifties movie. <laughs> Ooh, I like it. Thank you. This is different for me. All right. Right. Let's see here. Let's move on over to some green. It's really only until I'm not kidding this year that I have um, started wearing more brightly colored eyeshadows. Normally I would only do it like for Mardi Gras or for events, but I've been like doing the pinks and the blues and the bright stuff. And it's been really fun. Yeah. Your eye makeup looks very good this weekend. I really liked you had a nice pop color and a little, a little glitter. It looked really nice. And you did that with your finger in like two seconds. It looked really good. Literally two <laughs> seconds. Yeah, I know. I have perfected like the seven minute face, just, you know, that's great. Slap some things on. I don't need, I don't need the brushes. Just give me my fingers. I do have a beauty <laughs> blender though. I do like the beauty blender. I've never used a beauty blender. Really? Yeah. What do you use it for? Foundation? The foundation and then to like blend my um, concealer in too. Okay. See, that's where I use my fingers mainly for foundation and whatnot. Perfect. Me too. I used to, um, but my um, friend who is really good at makeup um, told me to try the beauty blender. She was like, it just blends your makeup in so much better. And I mean, people use it to like even blend in their contour too. I mean, I don't get that far, but I do really like it. I feel like sometimes when I do it with my fingers, when I like go in close, I will like feel like I can see streaks and this one I just feel like blends really nice the beauty blender um so Andrea is here hey Andrea and she was asking you Kelsey do you think you started going for bright eye colors because we couldn't wear lipstick because because of masks good point <laughs> I, honestly, I honestly didn't even think of that I was more just like you know let's bring the 90s back why not um, but yeah, that probably, that probably is true. I feel like everywhere that I look too, it's like trending and what's going on in the beauty world. So you very well may have a poet, Andrea. Um, very well. I used to do really, I mean, I still like we're doing over the top eyes right now, but I used to do that like every, every weekend, every time I'd go out in college and then I would literally put nothing on my lips, like not even a lip gloss. Most of the time I would spend like an hour and a half on my eyes. And then nothing on lips. And now on my a regular day before masks, I kind of do a bright lip. And then I yeah. only do fun eyes for events and stuff. But I do love a do love a, a bright lip. So I am ex I'm excited so, that I'll be able to wear some more hopefully soon. I know. I agree. I really like. Um, hey, y'all on Instagram, just to let you know, we're doing a little makeup thing with Electra. We, they tried to call in, but um, the feedback was too bad. It was too noisy. So you're just getting my side of things. But if you really want to watch all three of us getting ready, head to Electra's Facebook page. It's on there live and you can see all of us. If not, just hang out and say hi. If you're hanging out, let me know what you're up to. I was saying normally at this time, I'm taking my makeup off, not putting it on. So this is, <laughs> you know. This is an, uh oh, I already have blue pigment on my nose. <laughs> That can be a good, um, it'll be your highlighter. You can do like a light, actually, honestly, like if you blend it in, you might like it. That's the cool thing about the pigments too. I know. <laughs> that, um, that's one thing I really like doing about a, a look club is like just, cause normally we picked a bunch of different colors just to give you an idea, Daniel got very inspired and excited by this, <laughs> this head wrap. So we have more colors than normal, which, so we have Bananas, Foster, Blue, Bayou, City, Parker. I know, I feel like I should put mine on just to. Flirty. For that inspo while we're doing that it? In, that like direct inspo. Oh yeah, I'm going to have you, um, I'm going to probably, before I finish up, I'm going to put mine on. I, I need a little tutorial from Kelsey because I am, as I can do eyeshadow, but I'm, I am not skilled in the in the wrap in the wrap department. So Kelsey, I am a newbie. How do I put on this party wrap? So there's a wire inside. I'm actually just using it as a beauty headband right now. You know those ones that you get. Um, but the wire goes at the base of your neck. Okay. Danielle's already got hers on. Danielle's already going. Um, <laughs> but you 
put the wire at the base and then bring it up to the crown of your head. And then okay. you're gonna switch hands. So switch hands, I'll show you on mine. So you switched hands and then literally like a bread twist tie, just crank it around. Right. And then from there, I usually let go. And then I kind of, you know, style it however, however I want. All right, let's see. The wire is super malleable. It's also um, aluminum. So like if it gets wet or if you need a spot clean or anything, it's not gonna rust on you, which is nice too. So Sam gave me some good advice one time um, that she said, it's good to leave the wire up and then have the drape, the fabric part draped down. Is that right? Like yeah, that. especially if you wanna wear it a little bit bigger and bolder, like a big bow the wire will stand up on its own. So you can just put it like straight up like that and you have a big bow. All right, I'm gonna go. It's so hard to look in this and do it. Like my hands want to do the opposite. I know. <laughs> it's happening. There you go. All right, I'm gonna do that for now. Okay. All right. Ooh, orange lids, you I'm know. I know, I'm going in. I have blue that I'm putting over black that I'm putting over pink. <laughs> but I it's all like about experimentation and playing. So yeah, there's I do no like idea wrong the underneath. I feel like it's making this blue more vibrant. Really? So that's good. Yeah, that's good to know. Yeah, definitely. Um, just depends what you're going for. But it definitely it doesn't get muddled by black, for sure. No. And I so am just be like laying on top of it. Yeah. I am doing a little graphic line with um, flirty. And I really like what's happening. I like I like my graphic line. I don't like that I didn't tie my head wrap tight enough because it's falling. So <laughs> Yeah, you do have to tie you don't be afraid of tying it too tight. I don't know, what do y'all think over here so far? I need to blend, I think, better up here. Which I think I can blend over, I can do it dry now that I've done Correct. a transformer, right? It doesn't matter. Right. And after it kind of dries, then you can blend it even better. Like I've done looks before and then I'm like, okay, it's a little bit harsh. Let's blend it after it's dry. Yeah, I definitely have to blend mine. Cause it's just, unless I were, you know, that power right now, um, I think it needs to be a little bit softer. You know what would be See, really I always pretty like is a one lavender. eye. We all have a lavender. We do have a purple. I just can't. We have one called lilac, right? No, wait. Uh, passion flower is. I need to get that. Yeah, it's really pretty. Remind um, me next time I see you to get that because I definitely. I like. I actually earlier when we were at an event earlier this year, a photo shoot with Greg, um, at. It was a wedding styled shoot, um, but y'all were there setting up to be part of it. Yeah. Um, Katie, I think I saw you there. Yeah, I saw, I sold it to you. Well, I can't remember what, well, you got it. Yes. Like, you got, um, um, yeah. I got the, this one, which I love, this love potion. Yes. Um, it's like this, you're, uh, I don't know which way the camera's going, so. You got it. It's like yep. this iridescent pink, and then I got another orange from y'all, and I, that was kind of my first like commitment to doing a little bit more color on my face is buying those. Cause those were the first like super bright color that I've had. Well, yay. We're glad we, we brought you onto this foray into color. I know, um, right? That love potion is actually been one of my favorite lip toppers. So I'll wear, there's only a few matte lipsticks I can wear under masks that will stay. Um, but you can, I just trance, like I go through them. Ours are really good. And there's one other brand that I can wear as well. Um, but I only have a few of, you know, colors, but you can put the pigments as your matte lipstick dries and put it on and into a different color. And that love potion is like my favorite one to do. 
because it's like light pink and blue and it's like a duochrome and I love putting it, it like transforms co like different lip colors. I love it. Yeah, it's I've done it like right here in my eye too, um, like the little mm -hmm. highlight and I love that. Yeah, the little halo effect. I just started doing, that's how you did your eye makeup on Friday. I, I thought it looked so pretty. And I've been trying to do that too, that more. I'm I like back in my day, no, I just, it's kind of like more how the beauty bloggers do the makeup now where it's like dark color all around and light in the center as opposed to like light to dark, which is how yeah. I, my old school way of doing things. I know, I know. Mm -hmm. I used to do the like super blended corners and now, yeah, I just like, I mean, if I'm doing more than one color, but that one that I was wearing the other night, actually just, it was like, it's a gel kind of. So it already has that shim shimmer in it. It's unbelievable. Yeah, that looks really pretty. But it kind of naturally, because it has shimmer in it, gives you that like highlight on your, on the curve of your eye. In fact, I do think I'm gonna do, when I saw you, Danielle, the other night using Gin Fizz, I was like, that's already going as my highlight, I know. Yeah, I love that color. Yeah, I got excited. So Gin Fizz we're talking about um, is, it is a power pigment that looks like a glitter. Um, so it's, there, it's no plastics in it. It's basically like glitter air. Um, and you'll see too when you, when you use it, it'll like literally go into, because it's a, it's a mineral powder. Um, but it, I almost put it on earlier cause I got excited earlier and I almost put it on, but I have to remember it is still, it still does act like glitter, like put it on at the end because then it would, I wouldn't have been able to like go back in kind of and blend it. Would have, oh, really? I would have buffed it right off. I mean, it wouldn't mess up my makeup, but it would have, if I then was like, Oh wait, let me, you know, try to blend my blue in, then it would kind of mess up the gin fizz. So it is definitely a topper. I feel yeah, it was a little, I noticed a little like glittery. Oh, yeah. Like yeah, it's you very know when glittery. you put glitter on and it falls. Yeah, definitely does, and it's even if it's very light, but it's also too if you do get any fallout with that, it comes off so easy because like this, it's like air, really. I mean, it's kind yeah, of I know. I've been want. I know that a lot of people put their foundation on first, but I usually put it on second because I feel like I'm so messy with my powder if I do. But now I've been doing a ton of cream eyeshadows anyway, but. I just like putting it on afterwards because I'm a messy make. I'm like messy when I put makeup on. <laughs> um, you should see my house after every time. Well, <laughs> anytime I put on makeup, because it's like, I'm like, was this really just one night of getting ready for one human being? <laughs> <It's> I know. Like, <laughs> yeah, y'all brought it like hardcore. Oh, that was tame too. What you said. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> So for the sale on Saturday, Kelsey, is it, I, it, it's ticketed? Yeah. The want, well, the VIP party on Saturday is ticketed and then we are going to have, um, I'm going to open up the French factory and Sunday to the public, but the one on Saturday is kind of like a VIP event. You can get tickets. Um, we're having bottomless bubbles and urban South is going to bring over some of their new seltzers. So we're going to have those. Um, Liz is going to be DJing. I'm actually super excited. I'm putting together a little like disco um, photo booth area that people can come and take, you know, pictures in or selfies in or whatever. But basically just kind of a, you know, get dressed up in sequins, come hang out and you can shop the sale early because it's going to be going live to the public um, on Sunday. So this is kind of when I had my last sale, um, we sold so much in the first people were hungry online and so um you know we had to pull stuff off the shelves that when people were here shopping so this time i decided you know what i love my local new orleans people let's open the sale up to them one day early come hang out like i said wear sparkles bring your friends and you know make sure that you get what you want from the sale because last time it flew off pretty quickly <laughs> And I just um, posted a comment on the Electra Facebook page in our chat with the um, link to that anniversary VIP um, where you can sign up, right? That's on your website. Awesome. Yeah. 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 It's on my website um, through, it's through Eventbrite. So, but it's from 11 to 4. I mean, you don't have to obviously stay the whole time. You can just come hang out, sip on some champagne, shop a little bit of sequins, you know, take pictures in a disco photo booth and... 
Ooh. have them on Saturday. Disco photo booth. I know. I'm, I'm calling it a. I'm calling it a sequin social, and officially, this is my declaration that this is only the first one. We're going to be having many sequin socials. Oh, I love that. That's so cute. Sequin social. I feel like it's kind of old school. Like my parents' generations were like went to different, you know, socials or mm -hmm. like a bingo social or something like that. So I decided to pop the yellow over the orange. Oh, oh that yes. Cool. That, that's going better, I think, tone wise with the um Yeah. That the well it still looks it's so weird how how green the blue looks. Yeah, I was like gonna I say said, yeah. but, sorry, go ahead. My lighting in, in here is you know, hotel rooms are always like I've never been in a bright hotel room. No. Not unless it's like by the beach and there's like huge windows. Right, exactly. Well, you've been telling me I'm adding a little more blue bayou to the center of my lid. Um, Cause I felt like I was feeling a little dark and I'm already liking the way that blue's popping with the pink more than the green. Yeah, eyes. it is. I like that. All right, I'm about to go in with some of the bananas foster. And that's what I'm using on my lid, but I'm using it dry over, you know, what I put on with the, the gel. So I think that there's enough um, almost like primer through the gel that I'm getting this really intense color. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to have to do. All right. I am... I'm just putting on this yellow right here. Those of you on Instagram, we're with um, Electric Cosmetics actually over on their Facebook Live. We are doing a look club, matching our makeup to our party wraps here. Um, unfortunately, you can't see or hear them on Instagram because it was creating way too much feedback to have both of them running at the same time. So if you for sure want to um, see all three of us, hop over to their website page and get on their live. Otherwise, Ooh, I like that. Uh, I, I like the, uh, sorry, sorry, <laughs> I'm like, Ooh, I like that. The, the, you get excited the, about what you like the what? I like the pink that Katie's putting on. It's I very know. like, there's something very, I don't know. It's really cool. Thank yeah, you. Everyone here is kind of doing super bright, but different. I'm excited to see. I feel like everyone's is going to be so different. Of course, I'm doing my makeup with uh, makeup professionals, you know. Well, I, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> We're makeup enthusiasts. <laughs> Hey, We're having you know fun. what? Um, all right. I think I'm going to try some Satsuma, some orange. Um, I'm going to see kind of what we were saying before. Like, I'm going to try it by Just itself. Adding in some yellow here. Nice. I have an inspiration pick. I don't know. Did any of y'all vote earlier on which one I should do? Um. Sorry, Facebook. I'm just chatting with Instagram real quick. I, I realize they're like, who is she talking to? Probably. <laughs> um, but I had um, Instagram, my, my followers choose which look I should try to recreate. And they picked number one in my list. So, And it's a great look. And actually, Kelsey, I went, I wonder if, I don't think I found the same photo as you, but I went to, I was like, Danielle oftentimes gets an inspo pick and I usually don't. But so I went to Pinterest today and I was like, summer looks and apparently confetti on the eyes is in. I don't know, like dots on the eyes. Ooh. So she is a trendsetter. She That's what I'm doing. I'm doing I'm doing the dots. You are I need to pull up my inspiration picture again. I don't know if I like what's happening with my orange. I didn't clean my brush. That's what I need to do. That's what I need. How are we doing so far? Oh, I like that orange, Danielle. Thanks. Ooh, that orange is funny. Funny? Fun. I was going to say fun. And then I, I got distracted by someone waving on Instagram. <laughs> no, that's really fun. I love the orange. I yeah, like that looks a fun. Highlight. I feel like um, a parrot. 
Oh, I can yeah. see that. Okay. You're giving me ideas to maybe blend in some orange in the crease, though. Ooh, oh, yeah, that looks pretty in the in the paint with your paint. I do. It's funny, Danielle, that when you had the orange on your lid, it wasn't as flattering. But now that you had, you like swapped it. It looks really mm -hmm. good. I agree. I like your orange on the on the top for sure. It definitely acts. I don't know if it's just the lighting in there, but it, I feel like it acts like a highlighter. Thank All right. you. How you doing, girl? I'm saying I've been doing more bright looks. I guess now we have uh, decided that it's because of <laughs> having to wear masks that we can't wear the bright lips. So we've been wearing bright eyes, but this is. Andrea is our makeup psychologist. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Do you true. think that you are going bright because <laughs> you need but to check no, your price? You're not yourself. wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> no, not at all. All right, I don't love the orange that I started doing. I th I'm gonna try the Satsuma dry under my eye. All right, next I'm gonna do this guy in, I think just blended in the crease, but also on Instagram, just to let you know, um, we're using, I think, I mean, I don't even know at this point, six different products from Electra, and we are doing kind of a super bright look to match our party wrap, so. All of us are doing very fun things. I'm I'm busy now watching them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at the end, if any of it, if Danielle and I normally finish, one finishes faster than the other, we'll either just watch the other one or then we'll just start adding more. <laughs> That's the problem. You're just going to keep adding more and more and more. And then you're like, oh, wait, is there a stopping point? Yeah, yeah. that's the hard part, finding the stopping point. That's like that. I mean, we started doing the look club. I actually like what's happening. Now I'm doing Satsuma dry under my eye, which I wouldn't think orange under my eye would be flattering, but I like it. I um, do like it. I like it with against that blue too. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, we started look club to, um, to, you know, just because our favorite part of kind of going out and we missed events, but we more missed getting ready for events. So That's we, such a good idea. Yeah. So, um, you know, but the same thing has happened too when you're getting ready for an event. If somebody's done early or I, I get, I'm never the one done early, but if I were to be, <laughs> then I would, if my friend's still putting stuff on, then I still put stuff on. Cause I'm like, well, now you've got, Hey, that's a good idea. Yeah. Last yeah. Year. <laughs> you can I just, just added on a building. little bit of orange to the crease and I kind of like it, like the pink to orange. Let's see. Yeah. It's, it's like very subtle. Subtle. I was going to say, I just, yeah, but it's pretty. It just gives it a little more depth, but it, it doesn't look like necessarily two different colors, but it looks yeah. good. I know. Well, and this is the first one that I'm using dry, but I do think I'm going to go in and pack some more pink in because I do want that pink to like hardcore stand out. Ooh, I really like the, what Satsuma is doing under my eye. I know it's like. Oh, if y'all can see, but it's got this really pretty, that's what's yeah. nice about the minerals. It's just really like, it's got a- I know, a, I was gonna say, I feel like it's very like soft. It's not a hard, you know? Yeah, I went, that's why I ended up going back in with the dry look. And, um, but that mineral gives such a pretty shimmer. Yeah. Do any of y'all have the, um, the pigments on here let's see i'm asking anyone if they use them because i've been using them you you've had them for a while i've been using them for quite a bit yeah we kind of were going to launch them right <laughs> right as the pandemic hit yeah we were planning on doing drag con and going to the makeup show yeah. and launching them and yeah all the things that we were supposed to do. Oops, mm -hmm. a puppy that is in, in need. Yeah, I didn't bring my dog because I knew he'd be barking at us. The only time um, Ruby barked uh, is when we went, we were live on Instagram and the feedback was happening. <laughs> she, she heard that high pitched noise and was like, 
that's not right. Yeah. The feedback. Like, I don't, I don't mm. like this at all. Yeah. <laughs> all right. This pink's kind of interesting. I'm not quite sure about it, but that's the beauty of makeup wipes. I know you can always take it off. Oh, I like it. Yeah, I definitely I was starting to come more in on my um, inner corner and with my lines. And I was like, you know what? Stop, because it looks good now. And then where are you trying to connect? I don't know. So I tried to just try to leave it be. Um, and if y'all are tuning in on uh, Electra's Facebook, um, y'all say hi. Let us know if you have any questions for Kelsey or about uh, the Fringe & Co's uh, sale this weekend um or their new head wraps what's up with the mini head wrap or mini party wraps um i've been I, I saw you post about um yeah so those just launched like two weeks ago or so but people have been asking me for a while to make kind of a smaller version of the party wrap just you know to wear maybe a little bit more like a headband or they just didn't want quite as much fabric so i finally just got a ton of really pretty cottons in and was like, you know what? Summer's a great time to be able to have, you know, um, you know, more hair accessories to, you know, put in your ponytail or, you know, put your hair up or whatever. And I have these great new fun summer patterns. So decided to, to finally release them. So they're definitely shorter and um, a little bit skinnier than the regular party wrap and will kind of act a little bit more like you know a hair accessory or a oh danielle that looks good or a headband Thanks. in that vein as opposed to as much fabric so people have been loving them great and yeah. and 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 we hear there's some some earrings there are some earrings oh I am i doing a, a spoiler sorry <laughs> Damn. i actually have a pair for which sitting right here yay oh these are going to be debuting at the sale this weekend i have super limited numbers because i've already um sold some to people that saw them and were like i need these when they came to pick up other stuff um but these are definitely going to be a staple for the summer and i have them in pink i have them in um purple there's going to be some for pride y'all the pride ones are so much fun um i'm gonna have some for the fourth of july so stay tuned there's lots of fun wild earrings and you know? let me say that they worked great at the pool because we were at a pool on friday and people you were wearing those and everyone was like, was like oh, your Ooh. earrings yeah, they were like, I know. who are these people with these fun earrings and accessories in a bowl? <laughs> I know, like, right? have a bet going what y'all do for a living. I know. And then everyone's like, where are you from? It's like, we're here. <laughs> this, is, this is our home. Yeah, this is normal for us. Thank you. Yeah. A little staycation. That was so fun. Yeah, it was. That was great. It was a much needed little girls. Little girls trip. Yep. Well, yeah, so we it was walked so close to home too. So we walked through the French Quarter all like for we had a nice little jaunt about the French Quarter last Friday night, and I mean we it was really cool for us all. We were like, wow, it seems really like things are coming back, and, and it seemed busy. And then later, I found out like it was the numbers were I mean like a, like huge, like there was like a jazz fest weekend. I was like, that's kind of how it felt to me, but I didn't know if yeah. I just felt that way, but. But it, no, so it was like busy. record numbers of people. Yeah, they said like if I think I I read for for May, and then also the amount of trash they picked up, which is the unfortunate way they knew. But <laughs> New Orleans is coming back because you know the trash. But really, it's because they haven't been picking up trash. Like you know, that's what a lot of people were saying is, oh, it's so you know they're throwing away so much trash. But it's like you get to a certain point in the night, there's only so many trash cans. I mean. Got it. Yeah. They're, they're all filled up. <laughs> yeah. And I feel like especially since the quarter is not used to seeing that amount of volume, it's like. Right. Crazy. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm starting on the dots here. Yay, dots. And I put a little more blue by you with um, 
gel transformer in the center of my eye. And I'm going to try, I never know what to do with these fan brushes, but I'm going to try to use, um, I'm not great with the fan brush. I don't think they're usually heavy enough for me to do my um, highlighter, but I'm going to try this Bananas Foster as a highlighter, this yellow. And it doesn't, yellow is not usually my kind of skin tone. So I'm going to try this fan brush to see if it looks bad. It's very subtle. <laughs> Ooh. And it actually does not look bad. It's no, it doesn't. Pretty. Yeah, it's just like a soft yeah. yellow almost. It is. And it's, I think, because you can actually see, and that's just the pigment dry. But since you can really tell it is yellow, it's like, it seems yellow on purpose and not like a yellow toned, uh, like, white or something. Ooh, pretty, Danielle. I like the yellow you added on the corner of your, like, right on the of your nose. Yeah. Yeah, it's getting a little wilder each <laughs> moment. I'm starting on the dots. Yep. So you can I also... I have the right brush for it, though. I need y'all's little tiny point brush. You know, I used, what did I use, Katie? Was I using, I think I was using like Back. The, the blunt end, like yeah. not the brush end, but like. You did. Oh, that's um, a good idea. Yeah. She like I'm pretty sure I used like, yeah, like. That's a good idea. I'm going to do that. Try it. Because the, um, the. Let me see. I'm going to try just. Right here, just to see. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, because the toothpick or the um, Q-tip is just like absorbing it, you know? Yeah. Um, yes, Andrea says you use the back of the brush, Danielle, which is great. I love Dan <laughs> Andrea, our makeup psychologist slash um, stenographer. <laughs> Look up <Yeah>. stenographer. <laughs> um, but yeah. Okay, I might be overdoing it with the yellow, but that's okay because I'm going to come in. Satsuma, I'm going to guess, is going to be a really pretty blush. So I'm going to come in. Well, it's kind of like a bronzer, right? Yeah. I, I'm, And I can maybe do, let's see, some, um, some, um, uh-oh. Ooh, yeah, that's a little bit. What's happening with you? Oh, I put some mascara on, but apparently it's. It has a mind of its own. It's traveling. I think I might want to come in with some, just because I went so bold with my shapes, I might want to do a black liner. I might just do pink on top of the blue. Well, let's see. Let's see. I decided to come down to the blush. I sometimes do that where I'm like not completely done with my eyes, but I'm like, I'm done with them for a minute. I'm going to come do my blush because it'll take two seconds and it'll be pretty. Oh, I love a good blush. I, just love it. I know. Uh, Andrew says, I really don't know how to do blush. My face is always red, so I feel weird adding more color to my face. So, um, yeah, that's one of the, I I get I get red cheeks too. I don't know if I officially have rosacea, but um, yeah, it's, I definitely, you have to just sometimes, on nights like that, I just put concealer over, and I'm not a foundation person, but I put concealer over and then powder and then do blush. Just because, unfortunately for me, that's the only way you can really control your blush. Otherwise, then you're just kind of, I mean, when I was younger, I used to just be like, oh, my na my cheeks are naturally red. But as you get older, they don't always do what you want. So, uh -huh. No. <laughs> I use, I actually really like the um, Glossier because it's almost just like a cheek tint. So it's not like, I don't feel like I'm adding too much color because I can tell like the second that I add too much color, like because I'm a little bit more red cheeked as well, I feel like it's so vibrant. But have y'all ever used like any of these pigments as blushes? That's what I'm doing yes. right now. See, they're so pretty. There's so many yeah. of them are so good. So this is Satsuma, and I'm loving the way it looks. But flirty, with it looks really good too. Um, there, that's what I was saying, kind of about when we've been doing these look clubs. I think I quit talking about it, but doing the high, like every highlighter and every blush, I instead of using my like regular day-to-day -day one, I would use whatever pigment we have. And I, well, I mean, it's so pretty. I mean, look at that. I mean, that's magical. I know. That's magical. And that's orange and yellow. 
I mean, it's just they end up just blending in to where it doesn't look as extreme as it could. And then if I just hit it with a little bit of the flirty, I bet it'll look even better. Like, yeah. It's a little pink. Too. Yeah, well, because I feel like they're soft enough to where you can do that, you know? Yeah. Like, and you I'm can definitely in layer with... them on and make them super vibrant, but they, I feel like they can also pull very, very soft, too. Yep. What you, what you pull in, Danielle? Oh, I'm I'm doing a little flirty here. It's my it's one of my favorite ones to use as a blush because it's so so pink and pretty. That is really pretty. Yeah, yeah. I'm having fun with these dots. <laughs> Thanks, oh. Instagram. So the forward. first time I did dots was at Mardi Gras. And I I I was like I've Mardi Pox. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> no, it's so much I've, fun. I, I think I'm going to steal that technique to do the dots for um, our, uh, just to remind you, our um, bolt bomb is Electric Neon, our um, black light reflective uh, chunky glitter. Um, and I think I'm going to do dots. I'll do Marty, Marty Pox with that. Um, yeah, ooh. I love doing that with the bolt bomb. Wow, I'm loving this Satsuma. I'm like just kind of, I, I just... Got a glance of my under eye area into my blush, and it's really pretty. It's real pretty, y'all. So pretty. So. Right now, how do I do my liner without messing up all of this that I did? This is why I shouldn't have moved on, but you know. You know, it happens. I don't know if I'm going to love this as a liner, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm loving these vibrant yes. colors. Danielle, you're looking so cute. What'd you do? You just put on mascara? Ah, oh, that always does it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I know, mascara, mascara, like. Mascara goes a long way. All right, so. so I feel like Ooh. blush can be like eyeliner where you just like, I just want them to match. <laughs> I know. Really? I just, I'm so sloppy with blush. I'm like, yeah. That's fine. Like, I'm just really. Right. And, too. I just and like it's crazy. Okay. So, remember how we were talking about the pretty side? So, this is my pretty side right here. Wait, you're out of the camera, though. Uh, <laughs> I know. Pretty. That's because I'm hiding me. You're hiding the other side. <laughs> Not pretty. Pretty. But, I, no. so Kelsey, we've learned over, um, or I learned, and I've said that over COVID, I've learned. I used to have a good and a bad side or a pretty and an ugly side. And now I realize I have a commercial and an avant-garde side. So a, no, a commercial and a what? And an avant-garde. Avant oh, there you go. <laughs> so it's just unique. It's two, it's yeah, two good things to have. <laughs> yeah. That is so funny. That, cause that's the side, my, my shaved head side. And I used to hate that side of my face so much. Oh. And then, um, and then the, when I was, you know, doing our creative capsules and taking photos during COVID and quarantine, um, I, I'm, almost all my photos are from that angle because it's way I do make better. I don't look as cute or pretty, but the faces I make on that side are more interesting because is it the ugly side? <laughs> you know, the ugly side is always going to be more interesting. Let's be real. Let's be real. Exactly. Inside and, <laughs> Inside um, and out. I mean, speaking of all things, you know, fashion, modeling, things like that. Have you all watched Halston yet? No, I saw advertisements for it and I was like, ooh, this looks good. It's so good. What is it's it? So good. Um, it is a, I want to say like five or six part uh, kind of mini series with Ewan McGregor about the life of Halston, the fashion designer, who is kind of a, a fascinating character. Um, but it kind of goes through his life. It's very, it was very interesting and very well done. So I, I would highly recommend. What is it on? On uh, Netflix. Okay. I'll watch that. Yeah, I really liked it. Naomi Campbell became a mom today. I no. saw, I didn't, it was just today that she became maybe a mom? Was, maybe it was yesterday. Wait. Wasn't she? A, she's never been a mom before. Nope. No. Nope. She's Who fifty knew? and a mom for the first time. What? Good for her. Yes. Yeah, she also does not look fifty, but no. there's a chance. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. 
Hey, Instagram. <laughs> we are doing a five more years. look with Electra Cosmetics here. We were unable to loop them in because they're going live on Facebook and it was too much noise. But we're just playing around with makeup. I'm trying to do a fun little dot look using many of their colors. So let me know what you think. It's kind of fun. I might do dots more often. They're in. I mean, I'm not going to say that Danielle started the trend, but she just, she was doing it in February. Now it's the spring trend, apparently. They're calling it confetti eyes, though. So I love that. A confetti eye. <laughs> yeah. Confetti eye, though. I look up more like doable ways of doing that on a regular basis. Well, a lot of the photos I saw were just putting. Uh, large chunky glitter on your eyelid that is not eyelid safe i'm going to be honest about that right. but they're like put this giant but they're willing they're willing to do it well that's what we say we ball bomb is not eye safe but you'll see many drag queens use it for photos if you're a drag queen using it on a show you it you, it's like it you can take a photo and do something but if you're going to be wearing it for hours and hours and sweating you just have to be careful because your eyes are a, are a sensitive thing yeah i'm not gonna lie i have definitely put bolt bomb on my eye before i like it <laughs> i like it i like danielle's phrase of don't, friends don't let friends wear craft glitter um because i definitely wore craft loose loose craft glitter on my mouth before Electra and oh what a difference it makes. Yeah. Like, oh, it stands. Oh, I hate it. Oh. I literally think I've done a glitter lip once for that reason. Well, okay then when you get to your lip, I you can I would say skip the fuchsia. You have the matching lip here to go with the lip the fuchsia lip. But uh -huh. I would suggest you trying gin fizz on your fuchsia because I, this will be, this will convert you and you will be a lip glitter person because it feels like air, but it looks like a lip glitter. Huh. That would be my suggestion. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna play with that as well. Yeah. Daniel, I think you're the, you did that. Um, well, it's so pretty. You know, I just like wearing the pigments as a topper on any lip color. I mean, yeah. You do it with the blue, right? You do it regularly with the blue? Yes. Um, so I, I like to do blue bayou on top of stuff. Um, I like to do, like we talked about earlier, love potion. And um, paranormal is a blue, light white, blue, purple duochrome. And it literally transforms. Like I'll put it on top of a gray and it'll be like, it looks like I have 8,000 lipsticks on. It's so cool. It's like, just like I ombre a bunch of different colors because of that duochrome. Oh. Okay. Right, this this is giving me like super fun inspiration vibes. I like this. I mean, Great. you could totally do a photo shoot like this. Like I know. Like I should have planned one for right after this. Right. Danielle's going to the gym. Like, did you do the talk? Did you do your talk where you're like, no, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> I'll reverse it. All right. I'll reverse it. I didn't even think of that. I, I didn't either. Um, Until now. And now it's too late. Well, so. with the magic of editing, you can just do it tomorrow morning and pretend like it's today. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, I I don't mean to pull the, the yeah. let people speak behind the curtain, but. <laughs> All right. I'm going to do Gin Fizz. So I'm gonna tap a little of Gin Fizz out on my little, wow, I have a lot of pigment on here, but on my plate, and then you'll see what I mean, like it's like literal, like let's see if you can see if it starts floating around. I start to see little like, cause it's lit, or uh, not not liquid glitter, it's like glitter air. It's like, yeah. I need to get one of those silver palettes like y'all have. Amazon, right? Amazon. <laughs> yeah, I need that. I'm using I'll a plate right like. now. I mean, I like paper plates too. My mom got me some fancy, uh, like, well, like, well, like art palettes from um, Hobby Lobby or Michaels, and I like, I like a paper plate. 
right. Andrea, I feel like I wish that we had some more comments from you. I missed you. It's been so long. We were saying that we haven't done Look Club in so long. Um, it's, it's, when are you coming to New Orleans next? Yeah, Andrea. Um, I said, yeah, Andrea, when are you coming? Um, she said the silver palette is worth it. Oh, good, you have it too. Isn't it great? It is great. Um, she says, aw. Right, I am. Danielle, what about Gin Fizz? You usually mix it with um, the liquid, uh, the gel transformer? You just kind of tap it on or? It depends. I mean, like, I feel like it depends on where I'm wearing it. I'm going to do so some. So if I wear it, like, on my eye, like, I might just put it on my eye and see what happens. Oh, like dry? Mm -hmm. Um, Andrea says she's coming May 29th. All right. I'm going to try some. Well, in... That's coming up. That's right around the corner. Around the corner. What are you coming in town for? I went dry and it's pretty, but it's not what I want. So, um, cause it's a little, I wanted a little more in the, just in the center. Although look at that, look how pretty though. Just that little light dusting you can fizz. That is really pretty. Just a little bit, a little more. I like Kelsey's oh. ombre look, um, Andrea says. The ombre of your eye. Yeah, I'm really liking it. I Ooh. didn't, that's so cute. Yeah, I like, like, this is something of a legit wear, which is kind of fun. Yeah, it looks so good. I'm going to, you know, sh I should show up to the sale like this. I yeah. like it. Yeah. I'm going to just progressively do my makeup at the sale. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that's generally what happens at your events. You just kind of, it progressively gets, you know, more interesting as the day goes on, depending on how busy we are. Um, oh. Andrea's coming to get her hair colored. Oh, that's good. What color are you going? She does her hair. She comes in peace. What uh, color are you doing your hair, Andrea? Mine's a little faded. I'm, I'm going blue next, but I got to get my neighbor to, to bleach it. And I'm about to go out of town. So I guess it's just going to stay like this for a minute. Oh, yeah. You're going to L.A., right? Going to L.A. I am not packed but i think i'm gonna i'm gonna pack after this or i'm gonna try on outfits because that's one thing so i've gotten used to after the look club there was kind of this moment of oh there's nowhere to go and i look so cute but then i now i'm used to i just take some pictures and i was like that was so fun and now i've learned something for next time um but i'm excited i think i'm gonna try on my outfits because i'm like already gonna feel cute so might yeah. as well try on my outfits um, so I do have a little fallout from the, uh, since I used it loose, that Gin Fizz, and it went under my eye onto my blush, and it looks really pretty. So I'm not really going to wipe it off. Uh, yeah, Gin Fizz falls out beautifully. Like, I yeah. mean, I started doing a highlight, and then I was like, ah, oh, never mind. I'm just going to have shimmery under eyes. And like, you're like, ah, oh, ah. Oh. Um, Andrea says she is not sure what she's doing with her hair, but something really likes since it's summer and I'm going to Mexico and pray. Yeah, I know. I definitely was. That's true. I might, I'm staying somewhere in LA with a pool, um, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get in that pool, y'all. It's like 75 during the day and like 59 at night. <laughs> like Probably no. not unless they have a heat wave, which they did have recently, didn't they? They did, yeah, they did a little bit ago. It looks like the highest is going to be is like 80-something, but it's going to be so nice. Maybe I'll just I'll just dunk my feet in a bit. Okay, I think I'm going to... So anything in particular that you want to do while you're out there? I mean, obviously, you want, like, are there, like, things that you're like, oh, I have to go see this, or I need to go eat here, or... Um, I'm really just going, um, Andrea says she's doing a mix of pink and purple in her hair, which is what I'm still rocking. Um, I am now I'm really just going because uh, I knew that I had the opportunity to go and I knew that events were actually finally coming back. And I'm hoping that I won't be working from home all the time, although I've enjoyed it, but I'm excited, you know, so I want to, I just want to get some work done in a different environment, get inspired. I got, I, Daniel, I went and picked up that, um, that camera that um, that y'all bought from Tony, that is like a old, like it's a DLSR. So I'm like, oh, I can like, it's a Nikon and it's not 
auto, I mean, you can make it automatic, but anyway, I like haven't done photography in years. So I'm hoping I can like take some cool photos of some bolt bomb and some interesting places in LA and, oh, and uh, definitely in LA. Yeah. So I'm just going to do that and um, hopefully just eat sushi every day because yeah. my husband doesn't like it. <laughs> so that's, that's it. I'm just trying to be, um, yeah, just kind of gets a moment by myself in, in a nice setting and, uh, and I'm, ex I'm excited. I'm a little nervous, but I'm excited. I think that'll be fun. Yeah. Y'all look so cute. I got to shut up and do my lips. Okay. This is fun, y'all. Yeah, y'all look great. Look at how bright and cheerful we are. Yeah, this is the definitely the most bright of our looks. Now we're, we're going to go. Yeah, it's definitely. So this part, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. We I'm don't typically use as many me. colors. And it's really cool to use. Like, normally we just do, like, three to four pigments yeah and it makes a huge difference to have like and and a lot of times we'll do like color families right don't you feel like or we'll do like a holiday yeah. look yeah do like a specific and, thing mm -hmm. yeah. and this is just like so cool to see how all of the colors work together well so it's interesting what i've actually found and danielle is we're i mean we're, we're three creative ladies and Danielle's a very different kind of creative than me, which is, I'd say some people are, are like creative and think outside the box. I'm like, Dan Danielle creates the box. And I really like a box to be creative in. Like if you give me parameters, I can be very creative. So what I've actually found interesting about the look club is that having four colors to me, instead of feeling like, oh, I need more colors. I'm like, somehow, really excited like holy shit i can't believe i rocked this look where if, if i was just deciding and i used 10 colors i might not have done this so i kind of like yeah. the parameters but i also think y'all look really fun how bright you are and i'm getting very excited <laughs> and i'm using a little blue by you like on the center of my lips kind of like to do an ombre i love that don't tell me doing, i'm doing the gin fizz on my lips and i am liking it i also did like very intense like circle corners so that it's shiny you can't see it too well but i love your yellow in your um oh both of you i'm gonna have to steal that i'm gonna do a little yellow in the i do really like the yellow in the bottom corner of y'all's eye how y'all have it mm -hmm. yeah bananas foster all the way that's looking good and look kelsey i'm doing that um gin fizz just kind of in the middle of my lid like just kind of mm -hmm. how we were talking about with that halo and I get a little more of a lighter color in the middle. All right, I have a little. Ah. Yeah, I love, I do really like that. I did, I'm popping in y'all. I mean, excuse me, I'm being inspired by y'all. <laughs> Ooh, I like that, Danielle. Yeah, it's like a blue to pink ombre. Yeah, that is a really pretty. Ooh, now you're giving me an idea. I might do it. Imagine it with a purple. I mean, a purple would be awesome. We need an 18th color. Oh, sorry. <laughs> or a seven, really. Ooh, I really like that yellow. Yeah, it's so pretty. Right. Okay, cool. Onto the lid. What did y'all? What did you do for? Um, did you do blush? Um, did I miss it, Kelsey? I did. I used the pink pigment and just Pardon? dotted it right here. Cause I didn't do it before I did the dot, so it literally just which I kind of like hmm. just a little front highlight too. I see, just a little, a little rouge. Uh, Andrew yeah. says I'm gonna need those earrings in the white, pink, and purple. <laughs> they come in. They come in. They are. So fun. Yeah, you might need to come to New Orleans this weekend, Andrea. I'm bummed I'm going to miss the, the sale because I know I, I want to see. Do you have the other colors close by? I'm like, I'm very intrigued. Um, uh, They are in the in, back in my studio area. Oh, I'll text you and ask you another time. Yeah, I totally want to see them. <laughs> <laughs> They're <laughs> so fun. They are so fun. I'll I see them get on the, Saturday. Do you, want, do you want me to get them real quick? Yeah, before we're done. You, you want to show them off? 
I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go get them real quick. I really like that. Um, what the blue is bringing out in the fuchsia, mm -hmm. Daniel. <laughs> Don't forget your bowl palm, Daniel. Oh yeah. So you know how I always have to throw a wrench into what we're doing, but I I didn't when when I was packing I didn't have. Um, the uh what bolt bomb are we using tonight uh electric neon yeah I, all right I, here's I the purple i didn't have that one. Oh, that is oh i love that that's so magical i know and then here are the pinks uh, uh, so <laughs> <laughs> and then wait look at these for pride oh like, these are the size of your head <gasps> these are the size of your head I, I can't even put my earring on. I'm so excited. Look at Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. I love it. For pride. Um, Andrew says, I owed out loud and y'all can't hear me, but it's, she says, O-O-O-H-P-E-D. So I don't know if you said you peed out loud. <laughs> <laughs> I peed out loud, you guys. You couldn't even hear it. <laughs> oh, I just got the too bad. <laughs> But those, those are, are amazing. Those these are really big. I should start just wearing both of them. It's a look. I like it. All right. I'm laughing I think too much to my lipstick. Even. Okay, she did not pee out loud, everybody. She just just LOL. Did not P O L. Good. We were concerned for a minute. <laughs> All right. What am I doing next? Bolt bomb. Yeah, I might I'm do adding a little gin fizz to the tip of my nose. Oh, that's a good idea. Yo. I'm doing some satsuma in the middle of my lip. I'm just going to do this electric neon right over the little dots that I did. Yeah. And I'm going to... Hmm. I didn't realize I literally did um the I did uh glitter freckles the last like three or four look clubs, so I will avoid that, although I really do it. <laughs> but, I'm trying to decide what I want to do. It's it's hard. Because you, you look complete, but everything more you add is fine. Know, but the, long, the longer the longer you look, the less you're complete. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so I, my lipstick already dried, so I'm going to add in a little bit of, oh, this is my clear lip gloss, I can do it. Um, putting a little of the uh, sticky clear lip gloss, our um, mint glaze, just in the center of my lip to add in my uh, gin fizz, my little glitter lip. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, I love it. It's really just the simple things in life. Makeup makes me so happy. I know. Wait, I do like this glitter over the um, over the dots. Ooh. Oh, cute, Danielle. <laughs> what did you do? Oh, that's cute. I love that. What did you do? Wait, turn again. Let me see it all. Oh, cute. Are you doing it like individually? Yeah, I'm using my finger. Just kind of popping them down. Same. I'm really impressed, though, because when I put it on top um, of the dots, it didn't, like, smear the dots at all. Yeah. Um, Andrea says the neon pole bomb is one of her faves. Same, Andrea. Yeah, I don't own it yet. Well, that's okay. The first time I bought it, I lost it immediately after <laughs> at the house of. I remember that day. They bought it for me. It was at Easter, right? Yes, it was an Easter parade, and then I went and saw Kitten and Lou's show at One Eye Jacks, R.I.P. No, um, and I like had it in a bag and left it under my feet, and I just was so bummed about it. And then I thought, you know what? Someone's using it. It's not like someone threw it away. I feel like someone definitely was like, "Hell yeah, free Electra!" Like, true. But 
you know, it came back around. I have, I have it in my own jar now. <laughs> I think I'm done. You look awesome. I love it. I did the, yeah. like I'm you said, the gent- Kelsey, for someone that wears more subtle mm-hmm. makeup and, no. you know, sticks to neutrals most of the time. Did I, I pass you the test? This did, I, did I pass the electro test? I, you, I you, did. you are an electrolyte. You, you <laughs> did it. <laughs> you passed the test. Okay, I'm gonna do my bowl bomb real quick, but I, I want to know how you did the the headband knot. Like you just said, I, I like what how yours is your um, party wrap is, uh, Kelsey. I want to do rosette. Yeah, how you did so, how you did that? All you do is once it's on. Remember when you were at this stage? Yeah. Twist it. Oh, wait. I'm going to switch my hand. I'm so bad with my hands. I know. It's a natural to want to, like, try to tie it, but you literally just tri- twist it. Okay. And then I Not do that. twist. There you go. Okay. So from there, you just kind of keep twisting them around themselves. Okay. And then if you don't want it quite as big, you can kind of you know tuck it in tuck it in or sometimes i'll like doing like a little bit of a bigger you know i got gotcha. you i need to look in the mirror and not the camera that's the problem i know that's <laughs> luckily i've done it so many times i'm kind of used to it but yeah it is hard when you're looking opposite actually i like this little guy oh ah, look at that's cute. so cute i love that i love that i feel like that's very, Ooh, like, i like so that one, one. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. I like that. Okay, cool. Um, all right. Now I just need to figure out where to put my bulb bomb and then I'm done. See, look, I put a bunch of gin fizz on my lips where it almost doesn't even look like glitter now. I know. I did too, but not quite as much. I like it though. Um, okay. I think I might do just a little line with my liner. A little line of my, like, here. Is that kind of what you did, Danielle? Kind of, yeah. Oh, you know what? I'm with my liner. What do you mean? Like with your your geometric line, you kind of went under it. Yeah, I did. You didn't understand the words I used that didn't make any sense with what I was actually meant? Okay. I'm interested. I'm going to, now that we're sitting here and we're continuing to talk, I'm going to, of course, add more. (laughs) It is. I mean, that always happens. That's, that's the, that's, that's just, I don't think it's a, a look club when we don't end up going oh no, you know okay, too baby. over the top is dj liz in the house <laughs> yeah she joined on instagram in the but virtual now, house. Just trying to go a little so are y'all developing any do you have any fun new colors that are like coming or <sighs> So I've been really wanting to mix up a new bolt bomb and I've actually asked, it's actually mixed already. It just, mm-hmm. we haven't moved it into production yet. Uh-huh. I love rose gold still. And I don't know if rose gold is still trending or not, but. I feel like rose gold would be really good. If you've ever used the golden bronze, well, I made a rose gold version of that. Oh, that's like one of the, the, that is like the staff favorite. Like anyone who's ever worked at Electra or, or worked events for us, like that, that's like golden bronze is probably top two. It's so flattering on li- every skin tone. Oh, it's so good. So you've got a rose gold version of that. Yeah. So it's basically, it's like the grown and sexy rose all day because I like rose all day. Like it's a super fun mix. But to me, like, you know, there's like, and it's fun. There's hearts in it. And, you know, it, it's a real, it feels really like happy, but this is like the sexy version. Y'all ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> ready for the sexy rosé? All right. I bet that would be so pretty. Yeah. Right. So I want to release it. <laughs> I just. Mm-hmm. No, Danielle has like. All right, now I'm gonna play around with my party wrap. All right. This is definitely the most bright look we've done. I can't really, I can't 
Y'all can't really see my bolt bomb with my lighting. I'm trying to get to it. I can see it. Okay. It's hitting. I just did some of that other, um, the, the fuchsia flash lip glitter and like the, on the sides. And I kind of like it. Yeah, that bow looks good like that thing. Yeah. Oh, I should have watched what you did. I know you try those like, like a magician. I, guess. I know. Well, she has how many of them? <laughs> she actually has a whole section of her closet. I, 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 I yeah, I should, I should uh, take a picture of it. I consider myself a super user. <laughs> <laughs> you are. Yeah. Oh, I have no mascara on. That's why I feel like I still don't. Okay, I'm almost done. So, um, yeah, Danielle, like, I've seen Danielle wear so many different party wraps. And then very frequently she'll pull, like, she'll show up somewhere. And I'm like, what's this one? <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> My favorite yeah. is I like to double up the party wraps. Yeah. You know, so, like, too. sometimes I'm like, like, ooh, I really like this color, but you know, it looks really good with this color layered over it. So, or I love like putting a pattern with like a solid with a feather or something. That's an advanced user. Um, yeah, Danielle, you, I I think you my are favorite. an advanced user. <laughs> I think my favorite one or the one that looks the best on you, Danielle, is the, the one with the, um, the leopard print that had, you have the little, are those even feathers? They're like, they're like air, t they're like little sea anemones. Or oh, something. yeah, that's my Love. favorite one. Oh, the ostrich one? Oh, that's what it is. Yeah. Oh, gosh, it's so yeah, cool. with the, um, it's like um, an iridescent leopard print. Your, yep, I know exactly what you're print. talking about. Yeah, it looks so good on her. All right. Ooh! Yay, we're this is so fun. Um, let's see. Mon Cherie says, I missed most of this. Are you going to repost it? I love Danielle's makeup. Every bit of it. This is from Mon Cherie. Need to watch yeah. it from the start to see what was used. My bestie, Liz, Lindsay, Christy, gave me tons of glitter from your company. I love it. So, um, yeah, uh, Mon Cherie, we are going to, we'll make a YouTube of this, a YouTube. -y. Um, and, uh, yeah, I will, I will send it to you do you like i guess you like us on facebook so um but we um i don't know if we'll do a blog post or not but that will 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 uh this will live again and you can go through it and and thank you we appreciate it i i love i love y'all's looks i i'm i'm almost done with mine and, and i know uh, everyone's is so different i'm gonna have to everyone take a selfie and post it afterwards so that i can get inspiration for next one because danielle i'm loving that um yellow in the on your eyelid yeah. yeah, I I I wasn't feeling the orange and I was like, oh, let's just throw some freaking yellow on top of it. It's so fun. I feel like it big difference. Made it even like bolder to ha have a layer underneath. So Yeah. Yeah, well, it's interesting. I I kind of agree with what you're saying like, but the orange right above it still looks good with that blue green, but then yeah. also now that it's not on the lit, like it just like opts so much. It looks really good. So, um Yes, and in fact, I'm going to, I'll send you a link later, uh, Kelsey, but to anyone um, watching on our Facebook, I'm going to link y'all to our uh, private Facebook group. So, um, uh, Mon Cherie, uh, hit up into this Facebook group because we um, just uh, answer a couple of questions and then we'll let you in. And it it's weird. a great group Sorry. of people that will post different looks um we we'll post our pictures from this one too when we're all done we'll take our selfies and um people just post their look it doesn't have to be electric makeup just if you're like hey i felt really cute nobody told me i looked cute and then if you post a picture there people will be like oh my gosh you look cute and it's just kind of some nice positive reinforcement you get some good makeup tricks uh monstery asked about the hair wrap and Yes, tell us if you want to um, ask me how she can buy those. Yeah, you can buy them on my website. It is fringe-co.com. I'm not sure if you can leave it in the comments for them. Yeah. Um, 
but yeah, this is one of the brand new summer wraps. I have a ton of really fun, cute cottons that are coming out and will be coming out next week. And then also um, my big anniversary sale is this weekend. It goes live online on Sunday. So check back 10 a.m. Sunday for the sale to start. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Well, we are so cute. I'm like, I'm, this is kind of the most sad I've been. I know. I just want to smash you all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know, right? <laughs> And the best part is, is like, when we first started doing this, I am like, this is so not working. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> like, But then it always works out. It and always looks same. cute in the end. Um, yeah, I agree. I was like, when I first put this on and it was like really harsh, I was like, uh-oh, I don't know what to do. But <laughs> here we are. Yeah, the, I even I made that joke too earlier, Kelsey. I was like, if if Liz is there, if, it's like sometimes my husband I'll be doing my makeup and I'm like, it's terrible. I hate it. I have to start over. He's like, keep going, babe. Like it's gonna get. Yeah. <laughs> not done yet. Yeah. Um, uh, Danielle, sorry. Before we end this thing, I, it's crazy too that you put the banana saucer on top of the satsuma and it almost looks like it's got a uh, like a, a a a cooler tent underneath it. Like it yeah. looks so good. I yeah. mean, there's some green in there too. So I think yeah. it's just the way it blended. I'm pretty happy with <laughs> I love it. I'm, I'm going to have so pretty. I'm going to have to do a, a bananas foster into city park look coming up next. All right. Yeah. Okay. Sounds well, good. Um, well, Kelsey, right. thank you so much for joining Thanks us for having and me. hanging out on this Wednesday night. It's not a, it's not the normal night of our look club, but we were happy to uh, have you on. Thanks for having me. We'll have to do it again. Y'all have inspired me to get even more fun with my makeup. So I'm definitely going to be doing something like this, maybe even on the regular. And then I'm excited to hang out on Saturday at the VIP. Uh, yes. Event, so. so yeah, um, y'all make sure to get Eventbrite tickets to that. And Kelsey, I think I uh, hopefully the masses will will just request that you have to do this look again on Saturday. I know, right? I think that I think <laughs> I should this and or a version of y'all have inspired me to do more fun now that it I've played with it. So awesome. Well, that's what it's all about. It sure all right, y'all. Have Thank a good you. night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Thanks for watching.